I hope you're all having a great day. I'm Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me. Let's continue with this discussion on solving differential equations, all of which we're looking here initially first order differential equations. If you have a differential equation, you're solving it to determine what function or expression was it for which that differential equation is true. But we're looking here at homogeneous differential equations and we're going to utilize this specific method solving by y equals vx method. Why would we be using this? Because these are those situations where you could not separate the x and the y cleanly across the right and the left sides. Consider this very quick example. We're not going to solve it up, but this is just to prove that point. You have something y over x. You can easily solve this. You can bring the y over here and you'll have 1 over y dy over dx is equal to 1 over x. You separated the y and the x across the left and the right hand side and you can do this. Consider an equation expression for a differential equation which looks like this y minus x or x. Now you cannot separate this x from this y because these are kind of combined. If you take this on the other side you still have x on this side and x on this side and you cannot do it. These are those type of situations for which the y equals vx substitution method will come into play and that's exactly what we're talking about. These are homogeneous differential equations. What does homogeneous mean? The degree of each term is the same. The degree of this term is 1, degree of this term is 1 in terms of exponents. The degree of each of these terms is 1 in terms of exponents. These are all homogeneous. But this could have been done by separation of variables. This will require this y equals vx technique. But once you've utilized that y equals vx technique, in the end you will still be utilizing separation of the variables technique. This is just to utilize this to get it started and then you revert to the separation of variables technique. Look at this example in terms of an example of what a homogeneous looks like. You have something which looks like x squared minus y squared divided by xy. This right here is homogeneous. You have a square over here, you have a square here, and you have a square here because these are 1 and 1 which add up to 2. These are homogeneous. The degree of each term is equal, is the same, and that's exactly what a homogeneous equation is. Let's start by looking at an easy example. In this video, we can limit ourselves to three questions, and in another video, we can do some more practice. Again, first order. Everything here is first order because you can see it's dy or dx. It's first order. How would you go about solving this? Utilizing this technique, it is homogeneous. Everything here is to the exponent of 1. All the terms have the same degree. Well, you start over here by looking at this. y is equal to vx and you differentiate this. dy over dx is equal to the derivative of vx. But derivative of vx requires a product rule. Because you have a product of two variables. You'll have v times d over dx, x plus x times dv over dx of v. When you're doing the derivative of x, you're getting just a v times 1, which is a v. But when you're doing the derivative of this, you're doing x dv over dx. You have to retain this, and that's exactly what you're going to bring. But all of this is equal to dy over dx. In each of the questions we look at for homogeneous style of differential equations, you always have to bring this into play. And you will see it come into play in all the examples we look at. Now let's do something over here. y is equal to vx. Wherever you have y, substitute that. dy over dx is equal to x plus vx over x. Remember y is equal to vx. You can substitute vx right over here. Now look right here and you can isolate the x. You'll have 1 plus v over x. This is equal to dy over dx. All of this is equal to dy over dx and this is equal to dy over dx. So these two items are equal to each other. You can cross out the x's. You'll have 1 plus v is equal to dy over dx, but dy over dx is equal to this, v plus x dv over dx. You see how everything can be now separable. You bring the v onto the other side, you'll have 1 plus v minus v is equal to x dv over dx. The v's cancel out, which is fine. You'll have 1 is equal to x dv over dx. Bring the x on the other side, you'll have 1 over x is equal to dv over dx. But the v has not really vanished. It's really v here to the power of 0, which is just equal to 1. But you don't need to write that. It's understood to be over there having an exponent of a 0. Now you've separated the variables. Now bring in the integral signs. 1 over x dx is equal to integral dv over dx dx. You see how now it looks like separation of variables technique. The integral of 1 over x is natural log x plus c is equal to v because the antiderivative of x to the 0 is just a v. What was v equal to? If you look right here, y is equal to vx and v is equal to y over x and you can bring that right here. Natural log x plus c is equal to y over x and then y is equal to cross multiply dx and hit everything with it. 
you'll have x times natural log x plus c and you can open this up you'll have x natural log x plus x c is equal to y but this right here is the function or the expression for which this particular homogeneous differential equation first order holds true and you've seen the process utilizing the y equals vx technique let's solve this we have a homogeneous differential equation first order take the dy or dx and push everything on the other side you'll have x squared plus y squared over 2x squared it's homogeneous because every item over there has the same degree in terms of the exponent everything is 2 all the way around you have to use this y is equal to vx or xv if you differentiate it you can get that expression which will come into play you'll have dy over dx is equal to v plus x dv over dx which comes into play in a little while look right over here here you have a y square y is equal to vx substituted right here you'll have dy over dx is equal to x square plus vx whole square because y is always equal to vx divided by 2x square this right here is equal to x square plus v square x square over 2x square you can isolate the x's is equal to x square times 1 plus v square over 2x square these x squares will cancel out you're really looking at 1 plus v square over 2 is equal to dy over dx but dy over dx is also equal to this so equal them to each other 1 plus v square over 2 is equal to v plus x dv over dx Take the v on the other side, you'll have 1 plus v squared over 2 minus v over 1 is equal to x dv over dx. Do a common denominator, nothing wrong with you doing that. You'll have 1 plus v squared minus 2v over 2 is equal to x dv over dx. This is really a v squared minus 2v plus 1 which is really a v minus 1 whole square over 2 is equal to x dv over dx. You see how we've come up to this stage because this right here is an a squared minus 2ab plus b squared which gives you this a minus b whole square. Now what you can do is separate those variables that you have but to separate those variables I'm going to create some space. I'm going to erase all this because you've seen this. You've seen all of this come into play. Let's erase it. We'll cross multiply. When you cross multiply, you'll have 1 over x is equal to, I'm cross multiplying the x and I'm cross multiplying all of this on the other side. You'll have 2 over v minus 1 whole square dv over dx. You can integrate this. When you integrate this, you can now solve all of this. It's not hard. You can do a substitution here. If u is equal to v minus 1, du is equal to dv. And that's exactly what it is. From here, you're getting a natural log x plus c. That's the antiderivative of 1 over x. Here you're getting a 2 over u square integral du. You see polynomial substitution has come into play. You have natural log x plus c is equal to, you really have 2 times u to the minus 2. When you do n plus 1 divided by n plus 1, you'll get a 2 times u to the minus 1 over minus 1 you'll really get a minus 2 over u, which is really minus 2 over v minus 1. That's what I'm getting. So I'm going to bring this minus 2 over v minus 1 right over here because I've shown you how it came about. Minus 2 over v minus 1. But we know what v is equal to in all these instances, so let's clean this up and bring that into play. V, if y is equal to vx, v is equal to y over x. And you can substitute that right over here. You have natural log absolute value of x plus c is equal to minus 2 over y over x minus 1. Remember, these questions here take more space, more time. You have to do a common denominator here. Let's focus only on this part. You'll have a minus 2 over y minus x over x, which simplifies to a, you flip things around. You'll have a minus 2x over y minus x. Minus 2x over y minus x. And that's what's coming out from here. So let's bring that in over here. We have a minus 2x over y minus x. But I don't like the fact I have a minus here. I can hit everything here, right here by a minus 1. And I can get a 2x over x minus y. So natural log x plus c is equal to 2x divided by x minus y. And that's what I'm going to bring right over here. 2x over x minus y. And if you want, you can stop right here. And this can represent your function for which that differential equation is true and it would be a right answer but you see these questions are slightly more complex they're slightly more elaborate they require more to get done let this be our last question over here and it'll be an interesting one if you take this term and you take it on the other side you'll 
have a homogeneous differential equation first order dy over dx is equal to x plus y divided by x minus y but you see you cannot do separation of variables because you can't separate these cleanly with y on one side and x on the other side of the equal sign you just cannot you have to do this technique here y is equal to vx if you do the derivative of this you have dy over dx is equal to bring in the product rule you have v plus x dv over dx you have to save that because you'll utilize this now come over here Wherever you have y's, substitute the vx. That's going to come here in places of y. You have dy over dx is equal to x plus vx divided by x minus vx. You can isolate the x's. You'll have a 1 plus v over x times 1 minus v. These x's cancel out. So you have dy over dx is equal to 1 plus v divided by 1 minus v. But all of this is also equal to that because it's equal to dy over dx. You have v plus x dv over dx take this v on the other side you'll have 1 plus v divided by 1 minus v minus v over 1 is equal to x dv over dx and again this will be slightly lengthy question you have a common denominator 1 minus v you have a 1 plus v minus v times 1 minus v the common denominator affecting that numerator is equal to x dv over dx we'll come over here you'll open this up when you open this up, you'll have 1 plus v minus v plus v square over 1 minus v is equal to x dv over dx. But you see these v's cancel out. You really have 1 plus v square over 1 minus v is equal to x dv over dx. And now you can separate the variables. You'll take this on that side. You'll take all of this expression on the other side. You'll have 1 over x is equal to this expression here will flip as it goes on the other side. 1 minus v over 1 plus v square dv dx. Now you can integrate it. When you integrate it, you have a bit of a complexity involved because you have a rational function. If you allow me to erase all this because you've seen it, we can finish it up on this side. You've seen it. You've seen how everything has come into play. You can always rewind if needed. Separate this rational function into its individual components and you'll see it. The integral of 1 over x is just a natural log x plus c and we can get that out of the way. When you're looking at this, you're really looking at 1 over 1 plus v square minus v over 1 plus v square dv. This will bring the arctan antiderivative. This will bring polynomial substitution. And let's look at a substitution. If c is equal to a natural log a, this substitution will not help us eliminate the natural logs, but will help us clean out this variable and make it look uniform with everything else. You have natural log x plus natural log a. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but it's recommended. When you're looking at this, out of this, you're bringing in the arc tan v. Because 1 over 1 plus v squared dv, the antiderivative is an arctan because it looks like a 1 over 1 plus x squared. When you're looking at this, you're looking at a substitution. Let's do it here. u is equal to 1 plus v squared. And then du is equal to 2v dv. And then dv is equal to du over 2v. This will come right over here. And I'll work it out here and I'll put the answer here. We have a minus 1 over 2v integral v over, now it's u, du. The v's will cancel out you'll have minus 1 over 2 natural log u. That's what's coming out from here. So let's bring that here. Minus 1 over 2 natural log u, but u is 1 plus v square. Let's clean this all out. We have 1 plus v square. We know y is equal to vx, but v is also equal to y over x. This can now come into play over here. You have natural log x plus natural log a is equal to arc tan v, which is equal to y over x minus 1 over 2 natural log 1 plus y square over x square. How am I getting this y square or x square? Because v is equal to y or x. You square that, you have y square or x square. I can take this natural log term and take it on the other side and present my final answer. My final answer is natural log x plus natural log a plus 1 over 2 natural log 1 plus y square over x square is equal to arc tan y over x. Now, you can either stop here if you want. This represents the function for which this differential equation, the homogeneous equation is true, but it's really simplifiable. You can take it further and really simplify. You have logs over here which can be all combined. Then you can eliminate the logs by taking an exponential base of the other side. You know all of that, but we can stop over here. And this answer, 
would serve as a good answer and I would say it's good. And that's pretty much it for this video. Remember we're looking at homogeneous equations where you cannot cleanly separate the variables from the start. You use this y equals vx and this procedure here to bring it into the mix so then you can separate the variables as you see right here. After you've done the separation of the variables you can bring in a substitution for v and get rid of that v and you'll bring the y and the x variable back into where the v's were. And then from there you just do your simplification procedures and the questions are solved. And that's it for this video. I know it's slightly more difficult of a topic, this specific technique, but you have to know it. We can look at more examples in another video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.